Dungeons and Dragons is an incredible hobby. It's an excuse to block off some time in your schedule to make sure you have some fun and spend time hanging out with the people you care about, all while being creative and injecting some fantastical experiences into your everyday life. But like a lot of hobbies out there, D&D can get expensive. All of the books can add up, plus the dice, right? Especially if you start collecting shiny math rocks. Maybe a digital subscription or two, and that's without using miniatures and terrain and commissioning custom character portraits. The list goes on. And you might want to build or commission a, a gaming table with a built-in screen and like a bunch of cup holders and cool, awesome, it can't go for it. Can I come over? But you know, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can play Dungeons and Dragons absolutely for free. If you are just starting out or you are simply on a budget, you don't need to spend a penny to start playing Dungeons and Dragons. The fine folks at Wizards of the Coast have made the basic rules available online for free. I'm going to put a link to this PDF down in the description below. Everything you need to build a character and play the game is in here. There's even a collection of some monster stat blocks and some encounter building advice for Dungeon Masters as well. Weighing in at 180 pages, this thing is going to cover all your basics, and I think you can play for a little while before you feel any sort of limits or restraints, especially if you're just beginning. But to that point, if you really are just starting out in D&D, I would actually point you to the rules that are included in the starter set, which is also available for free on the Wizards of the Coast site. And at 30 pages, this is way more approachable of a document. And, you know, if you're not playing a spellcaster, you can actually skip the last 10 or so pages as well. If you're just trying to dip your toes in the D&D waters or bring in a new player, I believe this way shorter PDF is the way to go. It is also free on the Wizards website. What's missing in that shorter starter set rulebook, among other things, is the stuff on character creation. Now, character creation seems to be some people's favorite part of this game, but if you are just starting out or you're trying to save money or time for that matter, there are a host of character sheets available on the official website as well. All for free, link below. If you do want more of a hands-on experience, you want to create your own character, I celebrate that. I think your best bet to do so, whether for free or otherwise, is the website D&D Beyond. While there is a ton of stuff you could purchase on there, on the cart or buy the whole book or in immense bundles, you can still dive in and access plenty of options on there as well for free. I made a video tutorial on D&D Beyond where I create a dwarf life cleric and I'm going to put a link up here and down there to that playlist. Uh, cleric is a great choice for a player who wants to be able to do everything and isn't afraid of like a little bit of complexity, but even if you prefer to roll up a different kind of character, that playlist is still going to be very instructive on how to use that website step by step. Also, just recently released for free on D&D Beyond is the adventure from that starter set, the celebrated Lost Minds of Fandelver. It is a very popular and excellent introduction to D&D as a player and as a dungeon master that will take you from level 1 all the way to level 5. Now, depending on your style, how long your sessions last, that could be weeks or even months of content. If you are thinking about running the game for your friends or family, I've actually got a whole series, also free by the way, walking through each and every aspect of this adventure. Links to that, where the links are going, uh, rules, characters, a whole adventure, all online for free. But there is another resource worth remembering, and that is your local library. Amazingly, for zero dollars, this excellent book is mine for the next month or two, thanks to my favorite socialist institution, the Public Library. I wanted a physical copy of this for an upcoming video, and there it was on a shelf with a bunch of other D&D books and other TTRPG books with the starter set, the essentials kit, all sorts of stuff there for anybody to borrow. And freaking incredible. If someone came up with this idea today, no way would they ever let it happen. Thanks, libraries. With all that in hand, all you really need is maybe a pen and paper and some dice. You can go full dice goblin and go crazy with tons of fancy dice. But for zero dollars, you can just Google 
dice roller, or you can put an app on your phone, or you could use the built-in dice roller on D&D Beyond. Now, if you're playing online, I probably don't have to talk about Discord and Skype and Zoom and the galaxy of ways to communicate with voice and video and even screen sharing, but I am going to mention Owl Bear Rodeo, which is a free virtual tabletop. It lets you move tokens around on a map, either like a very basic one that's been included or something you found online or even made yourself and uploaded on there so that everybody can see, you know, what's going on where. Other VTTs, virtual tabletops, like Rule 20 and Fantasy Grounds do have free access for players, but to host a game, someone's going to need to be paying something somewhere. And honestly, for my tastes, I like Owl Bear Rodeo better most of the time because it is simpler. There's less complicated text stuff to wrestle with in prep and to explain to people in the midst of trying to play the game, and it keeps things from getting too video gamey for me at least. If you have been playing for a while and you keep borrowing the player's handbook from the person sitting next to you, it is good form to pick up your own copy eventually. I've got an affiliate link down below all that free stuff where you can order a copy of this for the lowest price around, as far as I know. But if you can afford to spend a little bit more, I am a big advocate of supporting your friendly local neighborhood game shop. At the time of this recording, the next investment I suggest a player would make would be to pick up a copy of Tasha's Cauldron of Everything. This has got some of the strongest subclasses in the game right now and some spells and a lot of optional rules for character creation and other stuff that many tables have adopted by now. DMs might want a copy of this as well, but I would recommend picking up a copy of the Monster Manual, which I would definitely prioritize probably prioritize over the Dungeon Master's Guide, though I do recommend getting the DMG as well eventually if you can. But th that's it, you don't even need that stuff. Everything you need and more is available for free with just a few clicks or a journey to your local library. Get out there, have fun, play some Dungeons and Dragons, be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, like and subscribe to this channel for even more free content, and I will see you next time. Thanks again.